you to what they do fade master los fade master los fade master los here live and direct and today i got a good video in store for you have you ever wondered how to remove a bald line like that well if you have this is the video for you for you today's video i will be showing you how to remove the bald Line. Before we jump straight into this video, make sure you go ahead and click that like, that comment, and also subscribe. It's Fade Master Los here, live and direct. Let's go. tools that you see in this video click the link down below the best tools you can get we ain't gonna waste no time let's get straight to it you see that ball line So in this video, I ain't waste no time. I went ahead and balled it completely out. As you can see, there's a difference between where the hair is bald and where his hair is still present. First thing first, we're going to take that one and a half guard and we're going to go all the way to where his hair is separate from his dreaded hair. Now, I have done a video on the steps of fading. I must talk you slightly through the steps of fading. If you want to watch a video that describes exactly how to fade, click that video above. Next, we're going to take the one guard, the three millimeter, and we're going to go halfway of the distance from where we just went with the one and a half guard. Next, we're going to play with that lever and go halfway and just give a little flick motion in between that one and the 1 1.5. I have it labeled at the bottom of the screen so you could keep up with what I'm saying. We went from the 4.5 down to the three millimeter, which is your one guard. Once you complete that step, you should have something similar to that. Next, we are gonna just go straight open, no guard. So take your lever, open it wide up and go halfway of the distance between where you just went with the one. So from the one to where it was bald, go half of that distance in between so that we could start creating another line. Once again, play with that lever, bring it halfway and flick at the bottom of that line. Slightly flick, like start removing the bald line with the half. So it gives you a little room to work. As you can see, I'm already attacking that bottom of line. That bottom line is still there, but we attacked it. Next, take your half guard, also known as the zero guard, and we're gonna close it, and then we're gonna open it halfway and slightly hit the line where we went with it all the way open, like just right at it. And when I say the line, the line that you created with that open clipper with no guard. And we're gonna go ahead and smooth it out. Now, as you see, it almost looked like that, that bottom line is already gone. But it's technically not. I'm showing you right here. That line is still there. You can still see that line. So the next step, we're going to take our clipper and we're going to close it all the way. Now, I don't want you to not be aggressive. You need to be aggressive on this part and you need to flick in the motion as shown. Flick exactly how I show it. We're going to go right at that bottom line where we created and we're going to go aggressively, not to where you hurting your client but we're gonna go aggressively to where we're attacking that bottom line. And we're gonna open it one lever up and just go slightly above, slightly. You see, one lever up. And we're gonna hit that same spot, but a smidge above it, just to give some contrast to make that fade pop. Now, 
Now, I want you to play with that lever from close to the first lever, close to the first lever, and get any imperfections. Next, we're going to take the trimmer. As you see, I'm pointing to the edge because that's where I want you to focus on using when you use your trimmers to remove that bald line. First thing I'm going to do is go back over and make sure I didn't miss any hair. So I'm going to keep balding again just to make sure there's no hair that's missed around the ears. Once I do that, I'm going to go right back to that line, but I'm not going to use the whole blade. I'm just going to use the edge that I previously pointed to to make sure I get any little imperfections that the clipper was not able to grab from that bottom line. As you see, I'm just tapping slightly and being very precise on where I'm hitting to get that bottom line completely out. Now, once you complete those steps, you should have something that looks very similar to this. As you can see, that hair right there has not been faded and you can still see where that ball line was. As I turn my client, you can see that the ball line is completely gone. I appreciate you for watching. Make sure you click that like, comment, and also subscribe. Fade Master Lopes here, live and direct.